Today a few words about the takeoff runs of Fokker fighter planes and Group 1 fighter planes in general. The test and acceptance documents from that time refer to takeoff and landing distances of between 30 to 50 meters. The Inspectorate of German Army Air Service, Eatfleek, required distances of less than 100 meters for E and D class fighter planes. In the case of a retest of a triplane that was Fokker D01 141 17 that had been in service for several months already. 45 meters were recorded for takeoff and 50 meters for landing. Today's replicas are across the board heavier than their predecessors. Different materials, different construction methods, unnecessary reinforcements, etc., and often different engines and propellers, which usually result in a two long takeoff run and flight characteristics that are often slower and heavier than the original. This is often justified by the erroneous assumption that the documents from that time are unreliable and embellished. Why should they be? Of course this is not the case. The documents from that time are correct. If the aircraft are properly replicated they will fly properly. A very nice example of this is Michael Carlson's replica of the triplane, which avoids many modern errors in the details. Here is an original recording of the Fokker D6 taken uh, off. That's not 30 meters. In comparison, my replica of the Fokker E3 with a 100 horsepower rotary engine take off distance less than 50 meters. Its certification documents at the time specify a takeoff distance measured of 60 meters. And to top it all off, my Engels E6, the replica of the Fokker D8, here, the aircraft rolls less than 20 meters, just like in the original recording of the D6 at the beginning. So these airplanes are made for flying, not for rolling. <laughs>